Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Build a Zoo, where we are getting ready to celebrate all things Raboose! I am Team Raboose all the way. We have a couple more Raboose, actually very busy in the CRISPR, getting ready to go ahead and pop right out of their Petri dish DNA little homes. And uh, I am very ready to go ahead and celebrate the fact that we apparently are about to unlock the goose genome with, um, you know, building a special goose exhibit to celebrate. A silly goose exhibit, one might say. So I think we only have, let me double triple check by clicking on Chewy the Goose, the fancy goose. Yeah, we only have two more types of geese to go ahead and try to find. And we actually are about to adopt this 10th type of goose. It's going to be coming in in one day here. And what I want to start working on, because all of our other geese are in the breeding. Um, come on guys, you can do it. All of our other geese are trying to breed up these types of geese. Are they, are they, are you guys attempting? Okay, we're gonna go ahead and return them and then we're gonna attempt to breed. Yeah, cause we're trying to breed up for this mystery goose, but we're pretty far away from it. Hmm. Unless, do you think we need to do some cloning? Hang on a second here. If we're going to unlock the silly goose DNA, we need to look at this very carefully, friends. So we need two fancy geese to breed mystery goose. I think right now we have two male fancy geese, indeed. So what we need is a female fancy goose, but I think we can only go ahead and have one CRISPR at a time. Yes, yes, you see, you see. So we can only have one CRISPR, which means that I have to wait until we have some Raboose born. So I think that's gonna get us there a lot faster though. So if that's the case, let's actually try breeding some new capybara types. <gasps> that's right, we only have boy capybara. I remember that disastrous discovery, oh dear. <laughs> All right, well then let's try going ahead and breeding for this mystery snake. All right, maybe we'll get lucky and we'll manage to like snag that snake. Oh, wait, 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 one's already pregnant? Oh my gosh. This is the, the kind of chaos that goes on when you've got so many animals. Um, what about over here? Yeah, these geese just aren't having any luck. We'll go ahead and return them. I really want to get some snakes in here. Can we get any mystery snakes? I don't have two of those snakes, so maybe I can breed these two? Okay, we'll go ahead and try breeding these snakes. Oh yay, and we have the new pigs! Okay, we can work on getting some of the pig genome done. Because I think some pig, like, crossbreeds with something else would be really adorable. And look at that! We have some new pigus! Welcome, little guys! A male and female of the pink pigs. And if we mix the pink pigs together, we could go ahead and get a new variant. So let's actually come into this empty spot. Inst, 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 inst. We're working on trying to find this new variant of rabbit. Hopefully we can get there soon. Um, can I actually breed for that? Okay, hang on here. Did a bunny just have a baby and that's why it says new? I don't have any bunny babies over there. Oh geez, look at all of these new things coming in. Snakes and geese just like flying in from the sky. Heck. All right, let's actually try breeding for this mystery offspring. We'll see what happens. And there it is! The great gourd goose! Look at you with your little, like, your little nose nozzle. So we've got the goose. Now we have nine types of geese. So that's Buzzy, a female goose. And we're just missing this one goose variant. So we just need to get our hands on a female variety of the fancy goose, which I think we might try doing through cloning. So we're gonna have to see. Uh, but all right, so like I said, we're going to try to create a place for our future Raboose to go ahead and have a good celebration and also to try to get more money out of these people and more trash. Because believe it or not, the more trash we gather, the better we can turn it into treasure. And I also have like a whole bunch of stock, require warehouse pickup, used in gift shop. Huh. So I want to get a gift shop over here too. You can maximize profits. Yeah, how do I have someone like come pick this up? Extra ingredient, none. Hmm, a magnet. All right, I'll try to look that up and understand how to like transfer the product we're producing. I might need to build that warehouse because there is actually a warehouse you can unlock over here. Let's unlock these benches so we can get a little closer. 
Ooh, animal enrichment logs. There we go. Ooh, fancy trees. I love fancy trees. Warehouse, product from your farm or factory will be placed here to be sold for potentially huge profits. Yes, I need some huge profits. All right, so that's how, what you're supposed to have down. We're producing the product before we have a place to put it. Gotcha. All right, well, let's build a big, beautiful, reboose like spot. And before I really get the pieces down, though, let me look over what decorations, like a nice fountain. Because I, I'm trying to figure out, we might have the reboose, like, have sort of a U shape. So that, well, maybe I'll have the U shape facing this way. So that people can, or like this way. So people can walk up and, like, observe the glory of the reboose. Um, around a fountain, perhaps. That might be what I do. So they can, people can come and walk around this fountain. And then we'll put down... I'm gonna move the incinerator as well. Oh, that's just a little bit of a morbid thing to have. Uh, let's put in some shops, popcorn stall. Haven't unlocked. Whoops. All right, shop, shop, shops. That's, that's amenities. Do 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 do. do. I want to put down another gift stall somewhere around here too. Oh, we've got a lot of shops to unlock, so that people can come and like buy some cute little gifts. I'm gonna move this water upgrade over a little bit. There we go. And we'll hide it behind a tree, or a fancy tree, in a little bit here. Hmm. I have signboards we can put down. Ooh, we have fancy lights. We have some nice benches. The farm, of course. I need to get a bigger farm put in. And then we have some shelters we can start. Now, need cola in your life. Captain Cola here again. Time to cola it up. We want to maximize sales and brand awareness in your zoo. So build more cola machines and the corporation will pay me to visit you and promote the healthiest of unhealthy drinks. With me around, your sales will climb up even higher as kids will get manipulated to drink fast, die young. <laughs> okay, that's like a way on the nose to say the least. Um, but let's go ahead. I want to have a cute little gift stall right here so you can come over and you can celebrate the arrival of the Raboose. Ooh, and we have a tradable variant for something. All right, oh geez, and we have like the worst shopkeeper. Do I have to hire her? Why do I have to hire, look, no. Like, ma'am, like, I'm sorry. You're out of here. We're gonna pay severance as well. Ugh, fine, just because it increases our morality. And we're gonna go look for a new shop. Let's apply to all. We're gonna use a little bit more plastic, I think. The enamel costs more, but we have the, okay. All right, we'll make this for now. Um, let's hire some new staff. We're gonna recruit and we'll do it on social media. A new gift shop person for the like Raboose gift stall. I also, I hope I can rename the gift stand in the future. I really love customizing the shops that way. It's one of my favorite things to do in Planet Zoo as well as you guys have seen. All right, and we're gonna try to give people enough space that they can come and see the Raboose. Okay, that's gonna be too small for the Raboose, isn't it? All right, good thing I can move this now. Who cares if it lines up with the recycling center? Because I'm definitely going to be moving that in the future. And then we'll move this maybe down here. Yeah, we'll move this down here for now. All right, we'll move this over. The important thing is that the Raboose have enough room. All right, whoops. Okay, huh. Yeah, now that I'm looking at this, this is going to be a little harder to get built quite so large. Here, we'll spread it out a little bit so people can kind of walk between the fountain and the gift stall. Yeah, sorry about that. Decoration is way up. People like the decoration. You know what? <laughs> the recycling center and the crematorium are kind of in my way. Can we buy some 2000? Okay, that's expensive, but we're doing it. I'm gonna move it. <laughs> we did it, guys. We're gonna hide the crematorium way at the back. We have so much we need to like fix and tidy up. Um, but I wanted a better place to celebrate one of my favorite of our very first of our creations. All right, we're gonna also move this breeding center because I don't think it matters where the breeding centers really are. All right, ooh, and the research hub. <gasps> we can unlock the warehouse!
juice, yes! All right, so now we do have plant pack special plants, animal enrichment tires, and flora pack wood, nice! And with the warehouse, products can go from farms or factories into the warehouse for huge profits. Okay, so we've gotta build that. You gotta make a mess before things get better. That's just my theory at the moment. <laughs> All right, we'll go ahead and build this warehouse. We have Wilbur, who's gonna be our storeman. He's not got the best work ethic. So I should probably go ahead and try to recruit some new staff. We'll go fancy pantsy on trying to get like some really organized people here. I know, I know I don't have anybody hired here yet. This person's not polite. Come on, this is like a, a client facing role. Work ethic through the roof, politeness very low. All right, politeness can be fixed somewhat with a good salary and that work ethic is amazing. So we're gonna go ahead and hire Corey. All right, Corey, where are you? Yeah, look at that, politeness went up. And where are you? Yay, Corey's on their way. Their work ethic can, has no fault, so we're gonna accept them. Even though they can be, you know what? You need to stand up to yourself against really rude customers anyway. All right, so let's see. I think this is a good, good size for our reboose. This is definitely not what I originally had in mind for this to be such a nice reboose exhibit, to be honest. All right, it's harder to build than I thought it would be. No, back up a little bit. Even here, not even there. Okay, one more. I never try to make things nice and tidy. Oh well, we can use plant tape to fix it if I really make it so that it just doesn't make any sense at all. Look at that, hopefully the new reboose area. All right, let's add some objects. We're gonna put in some nice water for our reboose. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're going to add in some enrichment. <gasps> we can put in the little cardboard box. See, this just isn't big enough for our reboose. All right, that's it. You know what, before they get in here, I'm going to I'm going to make this a little bigger. Cause this is gonna be like our silly goose celebration of the animal that we first discovered and one of my absolute favorites thus far that we have, we have crossbred. All right, and oh, cause then we can add in a shelter. <gasps> Shelters in your enclosure can help animals live longer lives, yes. Of course we're gonna make it big enough for a shelter. Oh no, my money. <laughs> no, my money. Okay, thank goodness. Boom. Look at that. Wow, we still have $10,000 left, you guys. I am so relieved. I really thought all my money was about to just disappear. All right, let's make a adorable little reboose exhibit with like the fake history of like what a reboose is. All right, here, we're gonna edit. I'm gonna move. No, 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 not that. I wanna... <laughs> view objects. Yes, this. I want to move it. There we go. And we can have a little shelter there. And I want to add in really fun new enrichments. There's beams and a little cardboard box. Simple yet effective. This humble box is sure to keep your animals entertained. Okay, that's so cute. And then there's a one that's open. Oh, that's cute. All right, we're going to put that in. Gosh darn, it can't line up because it's not quite three. All right, we're gonna put it in at an off center so that we aren't freaked out. And then we're gonna add in a cute little trampoline for the Raboose to be able to jump on. And a couple balls. And this is going to start setting the tone, by the way, for what our newer enclosures are going to start looking like so that they're nicer for all of the, the animals. All right, so let's edit enclosure. No, let's add objects. We have shelter, we have enrichment. Let's decorate a little bit. Look at this, we've got big trees, we've got small trees. Oh, I'm so happy. We've got ferns and long grass. Ooh, a vine tree. St. John's wort. Specks of yellow adorn the lush leaves of this bush. Oh, we've got the lilac still. Just some a nice plain bush. Maybe some St. John's wort bushes down here as well. We've got rocks, we've got a whole bunch of stuff. Oh my good word. We have a lot of stuff to unlock actually. Before I decorate, let's dive in and see what our researchers have for plants. They have special plant pack. Um, and then they have potted plants. And they have mushrooms, let's unlock the mushrooms, of course. 
Oh dear, and you can make a milk battery to milk your cows dry for profit? Never, never, you can't make me. I'm gonna take good care of them. All right, so let's add in more decorative objects real quick. A potted iris, <gasps> be still my heart. And then there's just, oh, these big trees. Here, we're gonna put in a couple big trees so that our raboose can just like live out. This is, again, all of our animals deserve this fate of happiness and, and kindness. Don't worry, we're going to extend the mushrooms. They're so cute. I'm so happy. I love how adorable mushrooms are. They just make me very happy. I don't know why. Oh, look at all the little variants that you can get of these. It's just because they show up out of nowhere and they they just kind of pop into your life for a couple days and then they disappear again. I think they're kind of cool. They're just neat. All right, magnolias, do I want to add you? Some lilacs, how about a little bit of lavender? Oh my word, we have a lot of people who are actually applying to get into the job at the warehouse. So we'll check in on that. Yay, and an employee has leveled up to level 15. That's wonderful. So let's check on all these applicants. Oh, I don't have any vacancies, hmm? Wilbur. Yeah, Wilbur, I'm sorry about this. I'm sorry, we're gonna, oh, whew, that's a lot of severance, but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna give that to Wilbur. Because I'm banking on the fact that somebody else is going to have better work ethic. Yeah, already we're getting better work ethic. Not you, Morgan. Lona, decent work ethic. Tyra, decent work ethic. Who has the highest? Not you, Vilma. I think it's George here. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to hire George. He doesn't need to be polite. He goes ahead and he just collects stuff. So what is in our warehouse then? Oh, look! We have a whole bunch of plastic. So total items in stock, total sell price, current sell cost. So I wonder what that means. Industry. Displaying yesterday's report based on all industries in your zoo. So then do you sell those products at the end of the day? We'll figure that out. But meanwhile, look at our Raboose exhibit. Oh, it's so nice. All right, let's go ahead. Let's move the Raboose. The time has come. Sly, we're gonna go ahead and move you over into this exhibit, my dear. And then let's see what our other Raboose have. Oh my gosh, it has a goose body. A goobit! It's a goobit, not a Raboose! I didn't know you could get it both ways. It just depends on what the CRISPR has done. And this one's a different type of Raboose. Yes, my friends. We have Goobits and Raboose in here. Okay, that's really cool. I'm very happy about that. And meanwhile, we do need to clone an animal. If we are going to get to the very last of the geese, we have got to go ahead and we've actually got to clone. Oh, Burning Soul. Isn't the beauty of the flames fascinating? But you know, I think we can make the flames bigger by keeping it burning all day. Burning a few animals in a day should do. Incinerate five animals in one day. Mike, I'm calling security. Remember how we unlocked security last time? I think we need to go ahead and build security. All right, and we're gonna try to get ourselves a female fancy goose so that we can get proper goose education done. But there we go, you guys. Look at these little ones. They are our raboose. I am very pleased with this. It is as weird and wacky as I dreamed and our goobits and our raboose have come true. Oh, Pugsley. Oh, Sly. This is this is really wonderful. Oh, all right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. If you guys could, do please leave a like for uh, mapping our silly goose genome and for building the new Raboose exhibit, setting the example for what all of our exhibits will be for our animals in the future. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.